Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Kobuman, and this video is a review of a program called C Cleaner. Um, it's a very popular program that basically lets you delete all the files, all the junk files or outdated files on your computer that you don't necessarily want to keep any longer. So it's supposed to clean up, or it's supposed to replace um, this cleanup, uh, which is a part of Windows, which you can see here, uh, which should delete all the all the same things that you can see normally in this cleanup. So download program files, temporary internet files, um, recycle bin, and what have you. And it's supposed to go as far as cleaning up system files. Um, for example, if you have a restore point, like if every time your computer creates a restore point, it takes up space. So if you want to delete those, this program is supposed to do that as well. And also, so you don't have to, for example, go to here and manually delete all these although with this cleanup you could have done that too so uh, let's uh, let's take a look at this program I went ahead and already downloaded it um, if you want to find it I'll post a I'll uh, I'll put a link in the description as well but I found that simply going to download.com but you can also google it and just type in C cleaner it may take it to to the website itself uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this this cleanup here so we can take a look at what happens when we install CC Cleaner and see what it can do for us, right? Here I already have it downloaded and I have it going. This is the very first thing when you open it up. This is the first window. I'm just going to leave it in English, obviously. I'm going to click Next. Okay, this is all look like a standard uh, options. I'm just going to leave that as default. And I'm just curious though. Let's see. I want to see what the. Okay, this is just the standard. Okay, we can go back to that. Okay, so we can leave that as is. Install Google Chrome. Uh, I'll think I'll pass on that. And so if you don't want the Google Chrome installed, just uncheck that. I'm going to install it. Okay, I don't need to view release notes. And let's run it to see what it gives us. Okay, I call it according to download.com, not a sponsor. Um, it has really good reviews. A lot of people swear by it, and it's supposed to be really good and it's supposed to be simple to use and so far it's looking pretty good as you can see on the left hand side for the Internet Explorer so I guess if you're using if you're using Firefox or Chrome this is not gonna help you unless you have a way to add uh, application well it actually does I take that back so if you do have Firefox it does let you do that as well so that's pretty good I like that and well let's go for the these are windows tabs so i'm assuming these are all windows specifically windows uh related um options so only everything that's in windows is going to be on the left side so under the windows tab okay so it does delete all the internet um temporary files so that's good windows explorer so i wonder recent documents run start other so maybe it looks at um, unused recent documents in the start menu and um, you probably the files that you don't use often it probably tries to delete that but we'll go ahead and take a look at that I'm just kinda go around over the menu to see what's what's available um, okay thumbnail cache okay that's good okay that's pretty cool some of these things I don't know if I'd be able to well I would be able to find that for example thumbnail cache but um, it, this is certainly a better way of doing it instead of me going searching for it, right? So, and for the system, it empties the recycle bill for your temporary files, clipboard, memory dumps. That's good. Check disk, uh, file fragments, Windows log files. Excellent. So that's pretty good. I don't know why. Okay, so you can actually select. I thought when it was grayed out that you couldn't select it. So, I want to go back to this Internet Explorer part. So you can actually delete autocomplete form history which is cookies which is good same thing with save passwords okay so it does give a warning that's pretty nice so in the case you didn't know if you have saved passwords or autocomplete forms those are all cookies and they can be very convenient in case you want to change it but if you're worried about security that uh, uh, you know that you might get a virus that searches for these type of things specifically in computer you might want to delete them as well uh, which I'm going to go ahead and uh, check that because I think it's a good security. Network passwords uh, for Windows Explorer. It's 
probably a good idea to check as well if you're worried about security. Um, I guess if you're on a home network, it may not be such a big deal, but uh, like I said, there might be a virus that also specifically looks for this. So um, if you have it saved automatically somewhere, you I guess you could potentially leave yourself open for um, intrusion. Uh, somebody might try to log into your uh, computer remotely, and if they have that network password, uh, they can certainly get access to it. So besides other stuff that's already checked here on their system, Windows error reporting, that's good. We can clean that. DNS cache. This is not necessarily, but it's good to have font cache, start menu shortcuts, advanced. Okay, so it does have uh, quite a few options to give you, which is pretty good. Let's go on their application and see what we have. So I have Firefox installed. I use Firefox. I have Thunderbird, which is uh, made by the same company as uh, as Firefox, and does let you do the same stuff as we have here for Internet Explorer, so that's good. Okay, I'm just going to leave that for now applications okay so it does it can do something with the uh, Adobe okay we'll see what happens there Microsoft Office okay so it does have a pretty decent integration I just wonder uh, what kind of files this actually removes I'll have to we'll have to check that out um, okay 7 works with 7-zip Diamond tools okay cool and Game Explorer, I'll check that as well. Okay. And let's see, on the left hand side, the default tab is a cleaner. Let's see what happens to registry. So you can do a registry clean as well. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm assuming it just goes for obsolete and, and old, unused uh, registry settings. That's cool. We'll certainly check that out once we run this program further. Tools. Okay, so this is basically just uninstall. Basically, let you uninstall all the the stuff that you have. Okay. All right, this analyzer, duplicate folders, system restores. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. This is, this shows you the uh, points of uh, the system restore drive wipe. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so it has. Your startup programs, the first one has uninstall programs. It's the same thing as if you want to uninstall. You have the startup programs and that you can enable, disable. That's pretty cool for Windows. And it looks like for Internet Explorer, these are plugins, Firefox, and so on. That's pretty cool. I guess this is for a little bit more advanced users. This kind of if you want to look, uh, if you analyze your disk and see what's, uh, what's using what, that's pretty cool. Duplicate folders, I do like that. You do still have to be careful though, so you don't delete something that you uh, didn't necessarily want to. So that's pretty good. System restore points, and this is pretty cool. Um, you can restore system, you can delete old system restore points, which could save or free up some space for you. That's cool. And of course, you can, it has a drive wiper, so if, I guess if you want to uh, um, delete your, uh, or format your drive, I guess. Well, it does give you option to free space only, so that's good. i would be interesting to know what that does, but I'm certainly not uh, willing to mess with it at this point because I certainly don't want to delete anything off of my drives. Okay, okay. let's see what this last option does here. Options, lets you upgrade to pro version, start free trial. Okay, so I guess we'll find out what's the difference between that and... Uh, the free version that we have installed. Okay, so we have basic settings. I'm not going to go over this because it's not part of the functionality, but I will look at the advanced pop option here real quick, see if there's anything related. Close, hide warning. Okay, this is just standard stuff we don't have to worry about. It's not necessarily related to actual main function of this program. Okay. So let's go ahead and go back to the top and click Analyze and see what happens, what we can find. So analysis complete. It does show all the files that it found. And uh, it's pretty uh, it's pretty simple, and I really like how it's laid out. It looks pretty good. It really gives you a sample or, or, or 
basically it just exactly tells you what it found and what it's going to delete. So on Internet Explorer, temporary files, it found 93 megabytes of it, 980 files. Same thing for history and cookies. Okay. Same thing for system and you know for the uh, for for the recycle bin. My recycle bin has 170 um, megabytes of eight files total. That's pretty cool. So it does give you a detail for each thing that it's trying to um, delete. Okay. I'm going to uncheck this stuff because I don't want my cookies get get deleted in Firefox. Not right now, at least, but I will allow it to happen for Internet Explorer. Okay, so if you go back and uncheck anything, it will uh, exclude Firefox. That's pretty cool. I'm also going to exclude uh, Thunderbird because I've recently installed it and I don't want any of it to get deleted. And okay, so it functions. It's pretty simple. I really like that. So basically, if you find something in here that you want to keep, you can just go to any of these tabs and just simply uncheck it and tell it not to remove it which is pretty good actually I like how it made it very simple okay so let's see uh, let's do it do you want to permanently delete? okay well that's good to have okay so okay boom I, I keep my uh, there wasn't a lot of stuff because I keep my uh, uh, computer pretty clean of this type of stuff um, so that was pretty simple. It only took two and a half seconds, but uh, I didn't have much, as you could see. So, so far, this program is really good. I can see how we could replace all these other tools that you'd have to manually do um, within Windows. Um, registry. Let's uh, let's do a registry now. Scan for issues. Admittedly, I haven't done this in a while. Okay, I mean, looking at the registry registry stuff, registry uh, entries, it could be confusing for even a, an advanced user, if you will. Um, but especially so for a beginner. So tread lightly if you decide to mess with this, and if you're not experienced with the uh, with this type of stuff. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is because I don't want it to ruin my registry. So. Uh, but if you feel like it, you can certainly play with all these options. Um, if you have missing shared DLLs, for example, here, you can certainly leave that checked. But I'm certainly not going to advise it. I'm this review is simply a um, review on how simple it is to use this, right? Um, deleting anything in registry is not something I would recommend to anybody. So tread lightly on this. Okay, let's go back to... See what I wanted to look at next. Applications, run cleaner. Okay, we've done this already. And tools. I wanted to look at this uninstall here. So it's, this is pretty much identical to the Windows uninstall feature. So you could use this. I guess it's convenient to have it in one place. I do like how it does give you an option, for example, 7-zip to repair. Because occasionally you could lose a um, a program that you downloaded, and you want to reinstall it or, or repair it, you could do that through the uh, add remove programs through Windows. But it appears to be the case in here as well. Okay, and if you want to go and delete any any programs on your startup related to Windows, you can do so here on this tab. So under Tools and Startup, Internet Explorer, same thing. These are all plugins. Um, you can certainly do that. I don't foresee any uh, major issues with this being done, so that's okay. Um, un unless you really want all of this stuff to stay or remain on Startup, and I certainly do. So I'm going to leave that as it is. I'm not going to do a disk analyzer because I have a really good idea, but it does give you an option to select any of the drives you may have and you can certainly analyze it if you're inclined to do so to get a better better in-depth um, idea because I'm not gonna do it in this video just because it would take a too long I do like this duplicate folders 
So just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and run this, but I'll only leave it at C and see if I'm going to run it. Okay. So it did find a bunch of stuff, which is cool, but here again, for example, if you see that it does like pull up um, identical stuff, and obviously they are identical, I would still tread lightly in deleting any of these. They may look identical here, but you can see, for example, here, you can see, or even here, you can see that these files are located in different locations. So program, uh, for example, this creative, uh, this is a, for my sound card. Uh, these DLLs uh, for my Sound Blaster sound card may be accessed at different times at different locations by each of these by, by this program. So sometimes um, it's usually not the case, but sometimes it is the case. For example, here, this uh, path here is in a 64-bit file folder. So it's under regular program files. And this other one is under 32-bit file folder. So, you know, it just depends. I would not delete any of these, really, just to be safe. Otherwise, you may have some... Uh, unforeseen issues with your computer. So I would not recommend this. If you're a pro or you know advanced user, feel free to mess with this. It's up to you, but I would not recommend this. Here you can remove this. I'd say leave at least two or three available, but certainly delete the oldest, which are these on the bottom, by the way, if you want to make space. You know, it's, uh, let's try this. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the last one. Okay, so that's very simple. It's pretty quick. I'm going to delete these, these, and I usually just leave three, just in case. Drive Viper, this is just to format your drive. Um, I would not mess with this, honestly. You can just do more harm than, than good, right? So, and the last thing is options. And like I said, this is not uh, necessarily related to... Uh, well, except this part does... Okay, wow, okay, so it does give you, well, that's pretty cool. If you want to cert keep certain cookies, um, I guess this is exclusion. Yeah, it looks like this is some kind of exclusion that you can do for certain cookies. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I like that. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so you can exclude some cookies so that they're not deleted whenever you do run it. So that's pretty cool. So far, I really like this application. I'm not sure that I would use it on a regular basis myself because I'm just used to doing things manually. But otherwise, I think it's a great program. It does give a lot of features. It's very simple to use. So I would certainly recommend this. Um, I'll go ahead and, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll post a link in the description. So if you want to give it a shot, feel free to do so. I give it a thumbs up, right? So <laughs> I hope you liked my video. I hope you found it useful. And I'll see you next time. And uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.